At the top tonight, protesters were on the march today as they set their sights on the city's planned desalination plant along the inner harbor. The Hillcrest Residents Association not only took their message to the streets, but also planned to continue to fight to keep the plant from being built. Our Madeline Salinas was there today and has details for us tonight in our top story at 10. Thanks, Mike. Earlier this month, the city moved one step closer to securing a water distillation plant when they received a draft discharge permit from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. That permit is the last one needed before construction is able to start for the Inner Harbor seawater desalination facility. Despite that green light, those in opposition to the desal plant showed up at the Hillcrest neighborhood to make their voice heard. I support the people, not the power, not the uh, welfare, or corporate welfare. I'm here because Hillcrest deserves justice. The city is lying to folks about what desal is for. It's for industry, not for the people. We deserve better. Starting at the corner of the proposed Inner Harbor desalation facility site, dozens of members and supporters of the Hillcrest Residents Association, or HRA, marched in protest over a possible desal plant being placed in the historic Black Hillcrest community. Lifelong resident of the Hillcrest neighborhood and treasurer of the HRA, LaMarcus Knox, says his home deserves better. It's very personal. Uh, when you come home or you try to build a home for your family, every day you have to come home wondering if you're going to have a neighborhood or not. Industry in the city is approaching or trying to steal it from you. You know, I don't think anybody in the city would like to come home for 40 years worry about if they're going to have a neighborhood or not. The city received its second of two permits needed from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to secure the seawater desalation facility earlier this month. That didn't stop people like attorney Matt Manning from informing residents about their rights and how to prepare for the possibility of imminent domain. I wanted to bring forth the law because there are a lot of people who are uh, confused about eminent domain and how it will work. And I wanted people to be armed with the information of not only what is expected to happen here, but what has to happen for that process to go appropriately. Manning says he wants residents to fully understand their rights to the eminent domain process, while also encouraging them to ask the right questions. Because the reality is with something like eminent domain, it's a hot button issue and it very often dovetails with racial issues and there's not always clarity on what the intention is. So I wanted to be very clear on what to ask and what to expect in that process. All right, our Madeline Salinas reporting. Thanks, Maddie.